What's up, y'all? This your girl Nina from Breakable Strong Woman in my PJs, laying in my bed. Yes, this is how I look at night. So, um, if y'all disturbed by my old lady look, get off my page. Now, what I want to talk to y'all tonight about is, um, I just have a few questions. Maybe somebody join me live. I'm bored. I'm laying here. I wrote up a few lines in my book, and I had some stuff heavy on my heart. Have the role switched with uh, men and women? Yeah, Marvin, this is how I look at night, so excuse me. Have the role switched with men and women? I'm asking because just today, and it's not the only day, but just today, I talked to three different guys. And all three of them seem so sensitive and in their feelings. And they question women like women used to question men. And it's like, have the roles turned? It's like, oh, thank you, honey. It's like, what happened to men being men? And, and, and women can't win, y'all. I'm telling you, especially here in Michigan, women cannot win. Let me tell y'all what I mean by this. And I ain't going to say nobody's names, but he, they know who they are, who I spoke to today. I happen to defend the guys that I dated in a conversation. Somebody in particular called them out their names, not knowing them personally, but I guess from the little things that I did say, they took it wrong as if I was saying they were not men and they wasn't worthy. I have never said that because if I sit here and talk about the men that I dated and dog them out, what do that say about me? And that's what a lot of ladies y'all don't understand or men. If you're dogging out your baby mom, your ex-girlfriend, what do that say about your character? First of all, I'm too damn old. I'm 53 to be sitting up here degrading somebody I either had kids by or laid up with or even had a conversation with. I don't do messy shit like that. And I was telling this person, it ain't that there are no good men. We just fell apart. We, we outgrew each other. He took that and said, this is why I don't deal with pretty much girls and women in Grand Rapids because ain't no good women in Grand Rapids. You still stuck on your exes and how you stuck on your ex relationships, your past relationships because you giving credit where credit is due. I'm not going to degrade nobody I've been with even if they cheated on me. Like my son David's dad. I was explaining to the guy we were young. We were in our 20s. We weren't even supposed to be that serious in our 20s. When you think about it you, you can't even count those as he did something bad to me. Because we were, we were young as hell. Now, when you get up there in your late 30s and up, you should know better. But when you fresh out of being a teenager in your 20s, come on, man. I can't count that. I can't count that against him. And still, I have to look at the good things that uh, we endured together. Like our son and our trips. And our laughter, I cannot sit here and just write him off as being a horrible person. And it's what people do. They want to write people off as being horrible people because of a situation that y'all didn't qualify with each other. That don't make them bad. Y'all just wasn't a mate. Y'all wasn't good together. So... I just not, I've just never been that kind of person and I have to learn this and I learn I had seen a video and it's true. I have to learn to stop doing this. Stop telling y'all past, man. You know, we be trying to be honest and people ask you questions. Thank you. I, I, this is my nightly stuff, y'all. But people ask you questions about your past and you want to be honest, stop telling your past. When you think about it, why do someone need to know what you were doing with somebody else before them? Why? It don't make sense. If you really think about it, why do you need to know what the heck I was doing with a man before you? 
and how many men. I can understand you want to be safe when it comes to sex. Put on a damn condom. Because you ain't going to change nothing. If, if she said, I've been with 100 men, you ain't going to sleep with her. You're just being nosy. Did you have a threesome? Why? Do you want to have one? That's how y'all need to start talking to people and responding. Because actually, when someone get mad and you told them your past, guess what they do? Guess what they do? They throw it back in your face. They try to mentally tear you down from the things you shared with them. Because you thought y'all was going to hook up and be together forever. Everybody ain't your husband. The only person you share most of the details of your life with, not really with him, is your husband or your wife. Not potential husband or wife. I do. We solid. We married. It's signed on the dotted line. We a couple. I got your last name. Now I can share some things with you. But before then, no. You're not going to put my business all over the streets and then lie on me. I'm just trying to understand why is that so important that you know somebody passed? And why do y'all have the need to dog out who you was with because you're not with them anymore? One thing I can say about my last relationship, y'all, which just ended a few months ago. He's 57. I'm 53. It took me all these years to grow up. Yeah, I'm a woman. Yes, I am. I handle my business. Yeah, I do. But to grow up mentally and be a mature adult in a relationship and know how to communicate, it took for him to help me do that. All the other people was playing games. They want to argue. They want to fight. They want to cheat. When somebody's solid and they're your friend, on top of your man or your woman, they will help you grow as a person. They will point out your shortcomings and, and help you learn from them. You know, everything ain't about sex. Find you somebody you're compatible with in every area of life. Try to find a soulmate, a friend. Stop chasing them big BBLs. You know, this is why relationships don't last. But I digress. What I was trying to say in this video is don't sit there and discuss your past with your future and don't dog out your old relationships. Let well enough be alone. You know, well enough be well enough. We didn't make it. He was a good dude. Yeah, he had his issues. It ain't my business to tell his business to the next man. And that's what we do. We sit here and tell all our tea to somebody else. But you leave your mess out. You sit there and tell all the bad things to how somebody was and what they did to you. But you don't never, 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 never say what you did to that person. Somebody got to be awfully crazy, y'all, to wake up one day and just say... You know what? I want to dog her. I don't like her. I'm just going to mistreat her. I'm going to dog walk her ass. And it's people out there like that. It's just people out there that got the temptation. They can't control their hormones. And, and they see a big button smile and they run about. It's, but that's mental. To me, that's mental. If you can't control yourself and you got a good person at home, you willing to get rid of your 80 for a 20 Something is mentally ill wrong with you. You want to go see if the grass is greener across the street. Instead of watering your grass over here and make sure it turns green. You want to go over there to see if it's greener over there. And when you get over there, you see it ain't nothing but turf and dirt. And now you want to come back home. Start treating people like you want to be treated. Leave other people out your relationship. Stop discussing your past when somebody even get into it. And that's why I said have the role switch because the three guys that I talked to today, y'all, friends, they all wanted to know about my past relationships. Normally, women ask those questions. Now the women don't care. Now the men want to know, are you still talking to them? 
you must still care about them. Oh, this is why I don't deal with women in Grand Rapids because they don't know how to let go of their past. How? When I'm respecting people I've been with in my past, I mean, I can't let them go. I have soul ties with those guys. And if you don't want to own it, you have soul ties with everybody you've been with, that you've slept with. I have soul ties with them. They're a part of me for life. So to me, they're my friends. And I'm not going to disrespect them as a person, even though I have some bad memories with a couple of them. But I have a whole lot of good, too. I had to learn as I grew as a woman to find the good times in people because life is short if y'all haven't been paying attention. Life is short. People falling off this earth. They gone. They leaving here. I'd rather remember good times with people to sit here and say, you know what? He cheated on me when I was 24. I am 53. Why am I sitting here talking about somebody cheating on me when I was 24? And, th- and these are conversations y'all have with new relationships and wonder why y'all relationships don't work. And then y'all sit here and y'all tell the new person every mental issue, every hardship, Everything mama and daddy did or did not do. I was raped. I was beat. I've been mistreated by men. I was homeless. You tell everything you can think of thinking it's going to make this man like you more. You know what you're doing when you do that? And I say this in several of my videos. All you're doing is teaching that person how to treat you. Because nine times out of ten... If you're telling somebody that you've been mentally tore down and you paid a nigga and I bought him this and I did that and he dogged me, guess what he's thinking the whole time? He ain't thinking, oh, my poor baby, I'm going to be there for her. She been through a lot. He ain't thinking that. He thinking like, oh, hell yeah, she weak as hell. I'm for the dog walk her. Mm, she let, mm, she got niggas her income tax check. <laughs> Oh, I'll make sure I'm going to be around income tax time. I'll make sure I'm going to lay it down. That brother messed up. I know what to do. I'm going to get in her head. Because she's weak. Stop telling your mess. You're stupid. Stop dogging your past. Stop sharing your past. Stop pillow talking. Stop falling in love. Stop falling in lust. Be friends. Learn to just kick it with somebody, man. Is that hard to do? To just get out there and kick it with somebody? I had a guy today. He ordered me. He said, I don't want you to have no friends. No guy friends. Because I'm feeling you. And I just want you all to myself. And I'm like, what? (laughs) First of all, who told you that I wanted to be in a relationship? Who told you that? Who told you that at 53 that I was going to be minding a man? Who told you that at 53 that a man can tell me I can't have friends? Who, who told anybody you can control another human being? I don't want no man who's so insecure that he afraid for me to talk to another man. You shouldn't be scared for me to have a conversation with nobody if you're secure within yourself. And I had to get out of my own way with that because I was the same kind of person. Oh, he talking to his ex or he talking to a girl. Oh, no, no. Something wrong with me then. If I if she can take him from a conversation persuade him to come over there he ain't my man i ain't doing my job she can have him flat out man get out your own way that's all i can say this your girl nina from breaking with strong woman i was just laying here y'all i'm over here doing some stuff y'all think i'm joking i'm do. i hope i ain't showing nothing i'm sitting here doing some work on my um on my computer putting some chapters in my book is juicy i do have a question if anybody out out here that know how to do ebooks please inbox me or you know about um 
But then my daughter want to learn about broker. Um, what is it called though? Nagestics? I forgot freight loaders, brokers. I know it's a few out here freight loader brokers. I'm trying to get information about that. And I'm trying to get information about ebooks. So if anybody know how to do either one, please inbox me. But I know how Grand Rapids is. We don't network. We hate each other. That's why when Kanye put on White Lives Matter shirts, it didn't really bother me. He's ignorant, yeah. But that didn't bother me because black lives matter to who? Do it matter to us? Would it matter to us? Maybe it matter to everybody else. Until then, let Kanye be great. I don't give a damn what Kanye do. Kanye a billionaire. That nigga can go around butt naked if he want to. He got money. So I ignore him. He, ain't, I'm not even on his level to make a conversation or an opinion about him. I don't give a damn what Kanye do. I want Kanye to talk to me, tell me how to get some money. Shit. Talk to y'all later. Have a good night. Stop telling your mess. Pray. Have friends. Enjoy life. Stop getting serious. Just live. Be happy. Peace.